start in, he said, with the schools. Now, I say, if you start in with the schools, what is the relationship between Ministry of Sport and Ministry of Education? Mm. There is no nexus. There is no nothing joining the two. Mm -hmm. And I, I spoke nearly every school I went to in South, from Claxton Bay right around the place. Must mm -hmm. be about 15, 16 schools. And uh, I know nearly every sports teacher. <laughs> but then I walk in the channel, where you're going, what are you doing, where you want? And uh, so it starts with that. But then the follow-up from the school is not yet. Right? It's not there. So I tell Gavi, I say, hey, when are they serious, I'll come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I met some netball, netball coaches in the ministry. And for a whole year, they're coaching three and four people. No development as far as that goes. So one of the first things we have to do is get, we talk a lot about Jamaica. Jamaica sports is part, that, that must be more, more important than maths and English. So that is where they get all this spoon factory from. Right, so that is that. But then I met WPC, and when I spoke with her, her commitment to this education disciplinary drive mm -hmm. was so good that I said that I could share. Yeah. I could share in that. I am willing to, and. Nobody had to tell me about time of the day because I don't work nowhere these days. <laughs> <laughs> so if she said 10 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. I will find the time to go and talk to these young people. And I have an experience coming out of my previous life. They call me and tell me, hey, we want to start a project, but we're taking 40 students, 10 is a sportsman. And uh, people like Russell Latapi was one of them. Leon St. Louis. Mm -hmm. they, were part of, they were part of my group. And then there are the ordinary people, you know, those not non sportsmen. And when I spoke with them, they were both saying, I was in the Black Book. <laughs> the next, other than the Black Book, I say the problem, all they don't understand is, I am the Black Book. Mm -hmm. There is nothing I could do that I don't know. Yeah. I even tell Russell and them, I say, hey, are they trying to get with Kua Ward, that is with Kura time? Yeah. I say, I get nominated for that three times, you know. I say, so are they following me? So I only have a direction to go in. And I recognize that a lot of the things that WPC is fighting with is the people who we losing mm -hmm. are yeah. people nobody listening to. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you talk to them and you recognize they, they, they're frightened. Mm -hmm. They don't know what next to do. The people who in their close-knit community not getting them the support mm -hmm. that they want. Right? So I so had one of the, this is just an example. I talked to one student, the next one came, and he started to write up my desk with chalk. So I just move as I saw and let him finish. And when he finished, and I finished dealing with his next student, I said, Clyde, come, come. I said, you see that mark you mark me? Get a wet cloth. When you finish, my desk must be new brand, you know. You say, not doing that. I say, Clyde, you're not hearing me. I want a new brand desk. Otherwise, you have to get paint and paint it, you know. And he pull up his chest. And when I realized that he's getting serious, I say, Clyde, here what can happen. In the army, when two soldiers want to fight, they just take off the shirt so that they have no rank. A sergeant fighting a corporal, they go get locked up. Two bareback men fighting, nothing happened. And take off my shirt and I hang it up. <laughs> right? You run and you get a big bucket of water and you wipe it down, you say you mad. <laughs> if you show fear for these people, yeah. if you are willing to back off, they will push you like any five year old will push you. Five I don't know where them five year olds <laughs> get the brain. 
But you tell them, don't touch that. They look all about you and put their hand. Yeah, they touch on you. They will test you. And these fellas, they will test you because they want, they want somebody to listen. You know? mm -hmm. They want somebody to listen. Yeah. Somebody to show care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They need to know how to approach them as well. And you can't come boofing. Mm -hmm. You can't come boofing them. What, what's your problem? Tell me. What it is you want? What do you want out of this? See, because anger is bring anger is yeah, bring anger. anger. Yes, yes. if you come angry at me, I come back angry at you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, me and my thirty people, none of them, not one of my students from Russell, Latter, Pilions, Lewis, all of them, they don't pass me nowhere. Them just stop and talk with me. Mm -hmm. Them just see me first and come, mm -hmm. because we developed a relationship. And I'm saying this to say. What WPC is trying to do is not develop sportsmen per se, but to develop young people mm -hmm. to be whatever they want yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. She's going to get them to understand you can be whatever you want to be if you apply yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? I have a lot of I, I did a lot of dealings with post undergrads and thing and I tell them anybody don't feel you're bright when you got a degree. You're bright if you could apply what you learn yes, to the situations yes. you are in. Mm -hmm. Because anybody who apply themselves can get a degree. Anybody. But I, I listen to you all right, but um have you all tried to reach out to the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Sports, sports company, you know, for, for assistance? No, not as yet. I haven't um, ventured into reaching out for sponsorship or anything as yet. So right now, so everything right coming now, from your pocket? Yes. Right. This is something I would want to sit and talk with her when she has some time. Because I really meet her only when we go into train, okay, when we're okay. together. Yeah. Because, and I just try to back away from the word Spot, sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Because what we want is partnership. We want to partner with people yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. who are willing, who are on the same track. We want to develop young people. We want to take them off the streets. We want them to understand you can't be cussing every time you pass. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. A day I was, Petrosian <laughs> Sports Club was my second home. We had a basketball court right in front of the club. And I inside the club and I hear cussing outside, I give us a rum shop. I came outside and one of the taller guys was the chief cusser. And I talked him about, he was a teenager at the time, talking 40 years ago. And he, up to today, anywhere he see me, he just say, Richard, Richard, how you going? What you up to? And all I told him, you cannot be using that kind of language around here because all of us will end up in the road. Petra, in my time with her, I've seen introverts real time. But and some <laughs> of them little children, they're free to talk. Yeah. It have others who jumpy, jumpy, energetic. So I'm telling you this to say, she have a hard work on her hand. And what I'm, the, the kudos I've given her is that she's committed to it. Yeah, yeah. She really committed to it. And that is the start. That is where it starts. Because without that commitment, she might pull out her hair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she pull out her hair. Yeah. Sports is a very good vehicle. Because in sport, we teach education. And we discipline. teach discipline. We teach teamwork. And I had to tell a little fella, he was just about 12, that losing is part of playing. Because you play in a little game, you tell me you're not playing. I say, what happened? Do it and get up. They say, if you follow me, now they're barely bright. <laughs> yeah. Because when we were young, there were certain things we were not exposed to. Yes. Today, if my uh, if my my phone get trouble, I just call a seven year old and say, "Yeah, now fix this for me." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the prop, 
and my problem with them, they say, watch, fix. I say, but you don't show me nothing. So the time have changed. Times have changed really drastically. And we as the supposed to be mentors have to make the adjustments. Yes. And we have to sit down. And yes, it will take hard work. Sometimes I just lie down and say, what to say next? How to say it? How to get them involved? How to empower them from young? I see the problem is too with young people making children now. Mm. So some of them who make the children now, they don't even, they even fully mature, so they really can't teach. Yeah, exactly. yes, and that is where the, the, the real community leaders are supposed to come forth now and try to you, you know, assist. But that's what we're not getting. Right, because I have heard el elders say nothing at them, you know. Them cussing their mother, who is me? <laughs> and uh, well, this one hurt my heart the other day. I think it was Separia West. A young girl on TV on a, in a classroom had a poor teacher trembling in oh, front. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And she take up her phone. And call it. And call, a late, call, call somebody. That can't be she ago, mother. Yeah, long ago, you couldn't do that. You long couldn't ago. do that. You couldn't call your mother. You call, she called somebody. That can't be she mother. Mm -hmm. And then she come quick. Because this one, so teacher here, gave me trouble. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, the mere fact that she was able to do so and the mother entertained that conversation for that long, it just shows that what it is the Allah will continue. Yes. Yes. Now, I tell people when they ask me, we say, wait for that. As I had a Chinese father who didn't used to talk hard and had a Spanish mother who used to beat bad, bad, bad. <laughs> if I raise my voice from a mother, I used to hear my father in the back saying, bad day, and that's all he had to say. <laughs> because you're not permitted mm -hmm. to do I that. I need to hold that thought there for me. We need to take a break, right? Yeah, you take it. <laughs> Viewers will be right back after the short break. <laughs> Hi, I am Nigel. Quote Me Today is your daily motivational segment. To start your day right, join me Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. right here on NCBN. Remember, wake up with a smile. Today is your day. Back viewers, we come back to Saturday Sports, and we are talking sports and education with Miss Where she came, or WPC, well, you Archer, WPC and <laughs> Mr. Quanchan, and they are discussing the Moriquan and environment. Yeah. Before we took the break, we were talking about you were giving, we were talking about the, the situation with the, with the school girl. Yes, right. I, I think that was total disrespect, and you see again to. It all depends on what transpired from the home. Mm -hmm. Because if something like that wasn't going on,